General Duty of Care in Delict The duty of care in Delict is based on competence, compassion, confidentiality and truthfulness, informing and explaining the situation and treatment options to the patient and making a careful diagnosis. It arises independently from the duty in contract and can exist side by side. If the doctor does his duties in a careless or improper way, he breaches this general duty. Just like in other delicts, where someone suffers damage in the form of personal injury and want to claim patrimonial and non-patrimonial damages, they must be able to prove that the act of the doctor was unlawful, caused the damage, and the doctor was at fault. The fault element is proven by testing the doctor's conduct against the standard of care expected of him or her by their profession. To determine the standard of care in medical negligence, you can ask yourself how a reasonable and competent practitioner in the same area of medicine would have acted in a similar situation. The normal reasonable person test would not apply, rather the reasonable doctor, specialist, nurse, etc. in the same circumstances. And remember, specialists are expected to have a greater degree of skill than general practitioners. What should thus be asked is, how the reasonable practitioner would have acted, whether they could have reasonably foreseen the damage and prevented it, but failed to do so, and thus acted below the standard of conduct expected. Like all other civil matters, the onus is on the patient plaintiff to prove everything on a balance of probabilities.